Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, right now I want to do a quick comparison between the Samsung A15 5G and the OnePlus Nord N20 5G. The OnePlus Nord N20 5G was released in 2022. It has a Snapdragon 695 5G processor. The A15 5G has the Dimensity 1600 Plus 5, uh, processor. And this was released about a month and a month and a half ago. So uh, size-wise, the A15 5G is a slightly taller and it's also heavier and bulkier. Uh, the N25 G is a very light phone. I think it's like 165 or 170 grams. Here you're about, you know, 200 grams. So uh, you're looking at, you know, 20 grams heavier on this one. This one feels really, really good in the hand to hold. So I, I really like the feel of this one. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the camera. The We have a triple camera set up here. Here we have a dual camera set up. Uh, basically on both of these devices only one camera is really useful the other for example these two here are pretty much useless same thing here um, <clears throat> so if you're looking for a phone with a great camera either one of these are gonna fit the bill so um, look elsewhere let's go ahead and look at the front all right the front here we have super AMOLED on both devices on the Nord N25 G we have a 60 Hertz here we have a 90 hertz. Now for those of you um, who, you know, prefer <clears throat> 90 hertz, then the A15 5G is for you. If you're not really interested in uh, <clears throat> the way, you know, you scroll, the scrolling on both of these phones is gonna be good. Um, what I've noticed is, and personally in my opinion, the 60 hertz is still very good. Uh, this phone is super fast. So when you're scrolling through this device, you're not gonna notice any stutters. I do get stutters on the A15 5G. Even though this is a two-year-old phone, this one still has, you know, some stuttering issues. Uh, maybe it's because of the One UI, I'm not sure. But with the Nord N25 G, you're not going to have uh, any stutters. I mean, that's one thing about OnePlus. OnePlus has always been fantastic when it comes to speed. For some reason, they know how to uh, modify these phones to make them super quick, man. I don't know what it is, but... Every single OnePlus I've had was just like lightning, man, for some reason. Um, they both have headphone jacks on the bottom. They both have micro SD card expansion slots. Extension, expansion, I mean. And um, uh, they both have, this one has 64 gigabytes of internal storage. This one comes with 128 gigabytes. Now, the difference is in operating systems. This one launched with Android 14. This one's this one's Android 12. They got one up operating system update to Android 13, and it is done. There's no more operating system updates with the OnePlus Nord and 25G. Here you're going to get four operating system updates. So as far as longevity, this one's going to be a better value. But if you want a quick phone that's fast and responsive, and no stutters and no lags then the OnePlus Nord N20 5G is definitely for you. Now, neither one of these phones have an IP rating. So basically, um, Samsung has an added one here, and OnePlus has an added one here. OnePlus doesn't add IP ratings in a lot of their devices. It's because it's uh, not cost efficient. Every time they have to uh, add an IP rating, they have to actually pay for the, for the certification. So I think Samsung and OnePlus decided not to put IP ratings on these devices, but I can tell you for sure that if you get either one of these phones wet, you're gonna be you're gonna be okay. I wouldn't keep them underwater for 30 minutes, but I think if you get a splash here and there, you're fine. Um, so let's go ahead and open up some apps. Let's go ahead with the phone app. One, two, three, go. I think that was the OnePlus. All right, let's go to Chrome. One, two, three, go. I'm not sure right there. Probably neck and neck. Let's go to uh, Messages. One, two, three, go. I think that was the OnePlus. Uh, let's go to the camera. One, two, three, go. All right, I think that was the OnePlus. I'm not really sure. Let's go to... Uh, Let's go to, uh, we're gonna go here. Let's go to photos, one, two, three, go. I think that's the OnePlus. Let me know what you guys think. 
Let's go to um, uh, let's go to a game. Let's go to hockey. You guys know I've been playing this game right, so let's go to hockey. One, two, three, go. Now this is where I think the one plus is going to excel here. All right, let's see here, and I'll play both of them and see which one is going to be better. All right, so the one plus did get there faster. All right, let's go ahead and play this here. All right, play. Let's play for you know for a minute. All right, so let's go here. Uh, one plus is better, man. There we go. We scored a goal. All right, so we're good there. We scored the goal. Let's see the replay. All right, you see it's buttery smooth, man. All right, we're going to skip that. I'm going to exit out of this one. Or we're just going to exit out of it. All right, we're just going to exit out of these. There we go. Just going to exit out of these. All right, put that to the side. Let's try this one. Now, remember this one? All right, there we go. All right, let's do it. Let's see how this one works. All right. Swap and play. The loading time is a lot faster on, on the OnePlus. All right. Got some stutters here. All right, scored a goal. All right, so scored a goal already. That was pretty fast. All right, see the replay here. See how the replay looks. All right. Should we go for another one? Do we try another one? So, all right, I think that's good. But anyway, you can see that the OnePlus, in my opinion, was the better device for gaming. Um, personally, if I had a choice uh, between these two, um, aside from the operating system updates that you're going to get four years here, if, that does, if that's not important for you, I'm going for the N25G all day. Now, on this one, I'm using an iOS skin that I like. Um, I just... I, I like the iOS just because everything is pretty much set up in folders and it's easy to find apps and everything. Um, but uh, that's the thing about Android that's very customizable. And this is why I've always preferred Android over iOS. Now, I also prefer the fact that this has a, a, a fingerprint sensor in the screen and um, it works every time. This one works too, but sometimes I have a problem figuring out where the fingerprint sensor is. Sometimes I'm pressing the buttons up here. Sometimes I'm looking down here, but it's actually right here. Uh, with this one here, um, you just, you know exactly where it is. <laughs> you just press down and boom, you're done. And it's super quick. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below, hit like, leave a comment. Let me know uh, if there's anything else you want to know uh, for my next video. Until next time, stay blessed and stay tuned.